Hi, thanks for joining me for Plan Your Visit Lesson 8, Engaging Your Whole Congregation. Well, we are in the final stretch of the Plan Your Visit course here. In fact, the first seven uh, lessons really make up the core of Plan Your Visit, and you can get started implementing Plan Your Visit without these last two lessons, but we've got some really great tips and advice that we really wanted to share with you in the last two lessons and so that's why we are including them for you. So one thing is that plan your visit is not just something for your website team and your hospitality team. If you really want to make the most of plan your visit you should engage the entire congregation and so let's talk about ways to do that. All right, the first way you can engage your entire congregation is by integrating plan your visit with other events. For example, when you do Easter or you do Christmas Eve, if you create a special page on your website for those events, you can put plan your visit into those event pages and then people can click to plan their visit for those events. Second way to engage your whole congregation is to integrate plan your visit with other web pages. For example, on your children's ministry web page, if people are interested in children's ministry, they should plan their visit. If people are interested in your recovery ministry, plan your visit. If people want to know more about what what it's like to follow Jesus, plan your visit. So you can integrate plan your visit with almost any web page on your website. And we'll include some extra training, some bonus training in here to show you how, how to add a plan your visit button to any web page in your website built with the WPEZ website builder. Number three, integrate plan your visit into your communication, all your communication in fact. You can include plan your visit in your social media so you can pro promote on social media the opportunity for people to plan their visit. You can do this in your newsletter, in emails that you put out. So um, that's another way to integrate or to engage your whole congregation with Plan Your Visit. Number four, you can engage more people in your congregation as hosts. We did this at our church when we started launching Plan Your Visit. We needed more people to serve as hosts. And so when we made that announcement from the platform, uh, as they say, um, saying we needed more hosts. It gave us the opportunity to explain what Plan Your Visit is and uh, just to raise more awareness about the importance of outreach in our congregation. So it's another serving opportunity for people in your congregation to get in the mix with new people who are coming into your church. And fifth way to engage your whole congregation, celebrate wins and share testimonies. And you can do this in many different formats. You can have people share their testimonies in front of your church. You can record testimonies to video and put them on YouTube. You can have testimonies that you include into your website. And in all of these things, if Plan Your Visit has really made an impact, there's a pretty good chance that when they are, when people are telling their story, they're going to talk about how they heard about your church, they planned a visit, their host was really friendly and helped them um, to get engaged with in the church. And so it's a great opportunity to share testimonials about your church, but also the, the plan your visit um, strategy as a whole. By engaging your whole congregation with the plan your visit strategy, Every time you talk about plan your visit, you raise the value of outreach in your church. And isn't that what you, you want to do? Isn't that what you need to do? Um, that value of outreach is uh, so instrumental, so elemental into what our church should be about. And so every time you talk about plan your visit, it helps people to remember that your church is all about reaching people for the kingdom of God. All right, let's wrap it up here with some action steps. Again, these are action steps. You don't need these action steps to get started, 
but these action steps will be great for you to implement in order to help your entire congregation embrace this and really um, make plan your visit take off. So first, list other events that you want to integrate plan your visit with. Mentioned Easter and Christmas, but you might have other action steps or uh, I'm sorry, other events that you want to integrate plan your visit with. Number two, list other web pages to integrate plan your visit into. We touched on that, and so just go through your website and see where else you can add buttons to plan your visit. Number three, uh, along with your communications director, if you have a communications director that is not you, um, create a plan for integrating plan your visit into other communications, especially your email and your social media. And number four, create a plan for celebrating wins and sharing testimonies. Again, these can be giving people the opportunity to share their testimony in front of your church. It could be opportunities to record video testimonies that you then put on YouTube. Or it could be having people write out their testimony and adding those to a page on your website somewhere. Uh, lots of different opportunities. Maybe you'll come up with others, but um, this is a good, really important one so that people can share their experiences about plan your visit and about your church. All right, so those are your action steps. Go ahead and get to it and plan your visit and engage your whole congregation in it. Thanks for watching.